What is going on, dude and dudettes? It is FCA here, and I'm coming to you with week eight of Skyrim Mod Reviews. <sighs> just straight off the bat, I'm sorry, but something about this area just really, just really beautiful. Got the lights, the way it reflects off the water here. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm a sucker for, for setting. I absolutely love this stuff. Anyway, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a, uh, it's an Imperial um, Officer Player Home for any of you guys who are Imperial fans. I know personally I am, so when I saw this, it was a huge catcher for me. And it's on top of an island. So here's the thing, is it doesn't have a waypoint, you have to find it. Obviously it does have a waypoint now, now that I've discovered it. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going over it really quick in a flat second. But first I just want to show you the exterior. And I'm gonna show you on the map, so you don't have to go through the trouble of finding it. Um, so we'll see right here. Um, Irvested, I'm going to back up a little bit, give you a point eye view of everything else around it. It's right here. So you go there, Irvested is the closest thing, or closest town, and then you just walk straight to it. It's going to be an island. See this? You see all the water all around it. It's a small little island, it's going to be Imperial Villa right there. I'm going to show you guys the description in a quick second, but first let me get to the front of it. I don't want to miss anything. Um, I know I'm walking through it right now. I'm sorry. Okay, wait, maybe that was the front of it. Okay, so we're gonna walk to the front of it again. Alright. So, let me, let me go ahead and, uh, show you guys the description really quick before I walk into it. I mean, I gotta admit, the entrance really isn't an entrance, but it's alright, I guess. Um, so let's check this out, the description. Alright, cool. Let's check out the description and scroll down. It's called Imperial Officer's Villa. You can pause the video and take a look at that if you like. I already read over it, so, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys got it well in hand. Um, I'm going to scroll down a bit so you guys have, you know, some time to pause and read everything over. A dungeon with torture tools for storm cloak scum. Damn. Pretty long description to be honest, but um, that's going to be everything you're going to need to know. Beautiful, let's move right into it. So right off the bat, I love it because it has guards. You know me, I love guards, I love the idea of having guards watching over your, your house. And since this is an Imperial officer, I'm an officer of the Imperial Army, um, I have guards. I have one, two, three, four, pretty sure like five or six, depending where I go. Yeah, probably, there you go, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so five outside. You walk out here, you're gonna have some nice cool water to swim around in in case you like swimming around. You know, swimming, 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 all that other great stuff. Um, you got a smelter out back here. I, I think this is so oddly placed, but it's all right. Um, so let's let's take a walk inside and check this out. I haven't personally checked it out myself yet. Um, anyway, you go up on the side here, there's a door. Leads to the Imperial Valley, got a workbench, got grindstone, tanning rack, uh, smithing forge, uh, crafting materials. Go over here. It's going to have another door to the Imperial Villa. I believe that's probably going to be the dungeon. I know you guys are excited for that, but first we're going to go inside here. Let's do it. Alright, cool, we're here. So, I mean, it's a nice place. I mean, honestly, it does give it that Imperial feel, if you ask me. Um, I definitely feel like I'm in Imperial home right now, just relaxing, chilling out. Comes with a Centurion Dyn Dynamo Core, Dwarven Helmet, you know, some cool little stuff in here. I feel like it should have some Imperial stuff, but, you know, hopefully as we walk through this place, we'll find some uh, Imperial gear that'll aid our endeavor to being true Imperial soldiers. Alright, so there you got an Imperial Sword, Imperial Shield, um, General Tullius' armor for those of you who want to be a, a general. I'm actually going to wear that right now so that I look good. Oh, I don't want to do that. Where is General Tullius? There you go. Alright, I don't have any boots on, so we're going to have to put on some boots. Um, let's put on these for now. That's fine. Whatever. I actually took out this helmet as well, so I can show my sexy face. Is it just me? Oh, okay, because I deleted this, so I don't I'm no longer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That, oh, I guess that's a thing. Okay, cool. 
I'm gonna pull out a real sword now because I put away the other one. There you go. There you go. That works. All right. So has uh, has the uh, shrines here. I mean, I like it personally. Jump, you know, it's got labeled storage here, mannequins. I personally like it. I think it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm assuming this is the dungeon. Desecrated corpse, which is a storm cloak. That's really gross. Um, okay, so I believe that's the door that leads outside of the dungeon. So this this is the dungeon downstairs. Um, let's go up. Let's go up a flight of stairs. Let's check that out really quick. So I have a map here um, with a bunch of uh, deactivated flags. And a knife right on top of Wind Windhelm, so that's cool. Um, got a nice bedroom with uh, Imperial clothing, gold ingots, uh, personal safe here. Once again, labeled storage, I love that. Uh, let's walk around a little bit more. So that seems like it's it. It's just a small little villa that you can hang out in with security, so that's nice. Um, I'm glad that loading screen went quick because I forgot to stop talking. <laughs> I have a cool little porch here that overlooks the water and everything else. A nice bridge down there. So, I mean, I love the scenery. That's always a big part of, of me having a player home. I want to be able to have a beautiful scenery. Um, and this, I think this definitely does it. So anyway, guys, I know this is a short mod. It was a small mod. But at the same time, like I said, I'm an Imperial lover, so I had to do it. Um, and I really hope you guys like it. And I really hope that, you know, you guys download this mod and uh, leave some, you know, comments about how you guys like it yourselves, what you guys think could be improved. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, always comment, love comments, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.